Yeah. If you want, it's way more immersive. Oh, way more immersive. I was yeah. expecting to put them on. If you don't put you... them on, it's a little different. Whoa. Can like, we're us? in it now. Can you hear us? <laughs> this feels... Are you there? It's kind of crazy, huh? Are you there? Yeah. It's like a here. whole new world. Yeah, you're a podcaster now. It feels like when Daisy I was the on the podcaster. That. Why don't you start your own podcast? Daisy the podcaster. You know what? <laughs> That's why I came out here because of my meat. There you go. <laughs> uh, uh, well, gonna, I, I guess. One second, sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. Is it because I'm short? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, did we start already? We're rolling, girl. We're rolling now. We in it. We're rolling. I'm we excited. in it. Uh, real quick, let me yeah. just do the intro, Please. and then we can get get to the nitty gritty. Do your thing, baby. Uh, okay, so uh, welcome everybody to La Platica. This is episode seventy four, uh, two thousand twenty three. Uh, I'm your host Sebastian Robles, and this is Josh Leva. Today we have a very special special guest. Uh, but before we do that. You can listen to us on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or here on the wonderful world of YouTube. Um, welcome. Take a seat. Take a drink. Have a drink. Have a drink. I too. <laughs> um, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, good seeing you again. Hashtag Mondays don't suck. They never will. Until when? Until... We're dead. They're dead. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I was like, uh, uh, <laughs> they never will? I guess we're going to die. So yeah, then it'll suck. So welcome, welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for the love that you guys did on Karen's video uh, last Crazy Monday. Love. That was amazing. That was, was a great so video. Yeah, it was It was such a good video. I love having her here. I always say this, but we need to have her like way more often. We do. Yeah, and she yeah said, more than like, once a year. She yeah. was so excited the next day. She like washed it like... 10 times, I think. <laughs> and she was like, babe, I think next month we should do this. And I was like, yeah, Aww, <laughs> let's go. So Honestly, I'd rather have her on our podcast and have her start her own podcast and take over. So yeah, you know what? Let's, just, let's she, just do that. She was saying that she wants to start mm, a podcast called should, La Platica. I think... And I was like, yo, 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 hold oh, your horses. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. La Platica, but like way better. <laughs> Get that D what are you doing? You got the it's, it's, DC? It, it's the one yeah, like I said, you got I, the respect the DC. It, stop. <laughs> Today we have a very special guest, oh. Daisy Marquez. Ooh, Daisy in Daisy, the building. We literally just talked about this, and I've known you since you were a little kid. Like this big. Whoa, that big? I know. Literally. Wow. I was a teenager. And she's now like this big. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I was like, hi, hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Yeah, so how are you? Thank you so much for I tuning in. I am doing great. I'm very happy to be here. I've been a big fan. I told them um, a lot of my family and friends are also fans. Ooh, shout, out yeah, shout out to your fam. Shout out to the fam. Are you nervous? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Have, what, you, have what you done a podcast do? before? I've done two before. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. She's yeah. a podcaster. Yeah, she's a podcaster. Daisy the podcaster. Did yeah. you wear headphones last time? No, so this feels definitely more immersive. On both of them, you never immersive. wore headphones? No. Uh -uh. What can we do as hosts to make you feel yeah, more comfortable? What, what can we do? A you shot. want me to tell you a joke? You want a shot? A shot. A shot, a shot and a joke. I got a shot. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh. I'll, I'll do a shot. I'll do a shot. Okay. Do a shot. Just, just one. I should have brought my wine so you guys could have tried it. Yes, I was actually oh going to ask you about God. that. I've been wanting to try it. I didn't think about it until yesterday. And my manager was like, you should have taken it. I was like, fuck. How many? How, like, do you have a full line? Do you have like. We have red, rosé, and white. But I will say like one little can is 14% alcohol. Yeah. So we would have for sure been lit. Like on two or three. Like you're on a yeah, good one. Yeah, um, my guy friends didn't believe me, so they shotgunned them. Is that how you say it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and they fully blacked out. One of them, <laughs> one of them cheated on his girlfriend. He forever blames my wine for no, blacking out. No. Yeah, I will say this: you, you do it. You <laughs> how <done> random? It. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, Josh? How random. How random? <laughs> oh, that's an insider. I feel um, like. I've kind of, I kind of took a look at like the brand and the Instagram, mm -hmm. all stuff that you guys are doing. You guys do an amazing job with the marketing and the Thank the you. bottle and everything. It's just done. So Thank well, you. you can appreciate that, huh? I can appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Being an entrepreneur myself. Yeah. Have you tried oh. Salud? Um, you know what? I actually ordered your collab that you guys did. Oh, oh yeah, I did. What would you think about it? I loved it. It's I remember good. telling Karen. I you, was like, you, you got to try the energy one. You got to try the it. sleep one. Yes. Uh, we'll get your address, uh, whether in Texas or here, wherever you'd like, and then uh, they, we can send you some. Yeah, we'll hook you up. Absolutely. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Period. <laughs> Period. Poo. All right. Uh, real quick, I just need to shout out these uh, um, yes, shot glasses. Yes, 100%. Um, oh uh, the God, the paw so cool. What does yours say? Mine says forbatum. <laughs> Mine says, and if I five eleven one. Oh, yours, Daisy. It just says La Platica, huh? Mine just is cute and simple. There you go. Love it. Okay. Uh, love thank it. you, Paw Shop. Uh, yeah. These are amazing. I love these. So, uh, funny inside joke. It's just that sometimes we, uh, when we started, you know, the podcast, just me and him, we didn't have any shot glasses. Oh. And so we people go started, the bottle. yeah, people started to catch on, and now we have like thirty because they just sent them to oh us. Oh my god, that's yes. amazing! You Daisy, made it. now we have too many shot glasses. Thank you so much <laughs> for cheers. Cheers, 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 cheers to success Daisy. Appreciate and you. happiness, wealth, and health. There you go. Well there said, you go. baby. Well said. Random shot. Uh -huh. 
How do you do with shots? Do you want a chaser? No, yep. I don't do a chaser. No chaser. I can respect that. Ooh. I can wow. respect that. Wow, wow. Ever since I learned how to take shots in tequila, yeah, I don't need a chaser. Because how did you? What, what was the? What's the technique? So you have to breathe in. Mm -hmm. You take it. And then once you swallow it, you breathe out and you don't taste it. Really? Let's oh. do another shot so I can practice that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're serious? I'm always serious. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> you, you want another one? In like a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, speaking about tequila, um, I wanted to ask because I, I kind of found this out not so long ago, kind of long ago, but not too long ago. Uh, can you speak about how, who is Daisy Marquez and also speak about how you said you were here on DACA, right? Yeah. And for people that don't know what DACA is, can you explain that and then just see how everything kind of molded together for you? Because now you weren't able to travel. Yeah. And you were talking about that you I'm just went to tequila. To You're still not oh, able no. to travel. Mm -hmm. I'm still so maybe you can speak on how you went to okay. tequila. Yeah. A coyote, maybe. <laughs> no, that was the first time. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, speak on that. Um, I would say Daisy Marquez is a young Latina boss entrepreneur. Uh -huh. um, I started off in the makeup industry and then I wanted to make a name out of myself instead of, you know, back then people would be like, oh, Daisy, the YouTuber right now, people just know me as like Daisy Marquez. You know, she does wine, she does makeup, social media. I'm also an investor. I have a couple of houses in Texas, which is one of the main reasons that I live over there because wow. I like being very hands on. Um, but DACA, actually, the reason, honestly, I'm like, I'm not mad that I'm still illegal because it has literally brought me where i am today yeah um so i actually was very very intelligent in school and i did a lot of courses and took college classes because i really didn't want to go to college yeah and since i am from mexico they told me that i'm going to be charged as an international student so it was like double the money i was broke as fuck i was a teenager mm -hmm. my mom was like i'll do two jobs and i was like freaking out at this moment your parents and, your, and you and your sisters were all in mexico no, this was in Texas. Okay. Yeah, so this is when I was in high school, and I graduated high school, and I got these scholarships, and it was, like, still not that... I was gonna... It was gonna be, like, six figures that I would wow. have to pay each year because Damn. when you're Mexican or out of, like, international, whatever, they're gonna charge you as an international student. So I got depressed, and then that's when I started getting into makeup, and then I posted a YouTube video, and I kind of... Actually, I went viral on Twitter, Really? So Twitter. It was, it was like a tweet. Like a you never tweet? hear that. Yeah. Well, you I, hear tweets going kind of viral, yeah. but not like oh, to it set a career. I feel, I feel like yeah. I feel like my flowers. That's what I call them. I feel like they're gonna know because at the time Instagram was so oversaturated with beauty gurus. Like this when it was like 2016, it was like popping off, and I was like, what's gonna make me stand out? So I posted a video on, on Twitter, Twitter. Wow. And it went viral, and it, the makeup community wasn't that big at the time on Twitter and then more people started posting and then that's where R H O A B H came about. Which, which was, was like, what? It was like a group of influencers. So it was like me, James Charles at the time. It was like ah. um Shelby, Tina. Um it was like a big group of us and then we all kind of just help like each other elevate. Yeah. And then yeah. from there we all just kinda of went Smart. our separate ways and and blew up. But <clears throat> Because of that, then I signed with Univision, actually. Oh, nice. Weren't yeah, you, like, I was with Univision, right? as well. Yeah, so I signed with Univision, and then I came out here, and then from there, it just kind of sister, you know? Wow. What, what year was it that you uploaded your first YouTube video? 2016. 2016, okay. Yeah. So it was literally right after the, the tweet. Yeah. The, the yeah, Twitter yeah. video. That's mm -hmm. crazy. So two things. She calls her fam flowers yeah. because her name's Daisy, just so you know. No, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just I, so, kinda, I, I just kinda felt kinda like two I, maybe together. you didn't know. Yeah, yeah. So just so you know. Yeah, okay, got okay. it. Got it. Thank you, dude. Yeah. They're <laughs> like my little yeah. 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 <laughs> Um And second, you know what's funny that you say that about kind of like you and your friends helping each other out? Didn't me and Karen see you guys in New York? And I think that's when we kind of met you guys. It was you, James Wasn't Charles, it? and like mm -hmm. another, like a little posse. Yeah. You guys were just like... <laughs> Walking yeah. down New York, was I it, swear. I, was I, it Gen I, Beauty? Some, or was it Beauty? Uh -huh, something no, like that. I think that. it was Gen Beauty. I think so, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, there, was. there was a time where I went to New York like four times with Karen it because was. of like Gen Beauty, this or that. Uh, oh and God. I think it was that. And it, where's that main street where like the Zara is? Soho? Mm, something like that where all the stores are at i know what you're talking yes, about yes we you, saw you guys oh my god and we were like karen we were yeah. such expensive <laughs> yeah her, and she stopped to talk to us yeah. and you were just kind of there like oh. yeah i was like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i forgot about that yeah, yeah that dang was, i was like it was a small world but like kind of isn't i was like 18 19 i think 19 maybe yeah and i was already oh, like wow you she really was a teenager when you met her yeah yeah i'm telling you like oh, shit. 
this is not a joke. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then Karen was already kind of like. She was good already. Like yeah. 2016, she was, she was doing her thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh huh. So that that's dope. I mean, she, <clears throat> sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you didn't. I um, I was gonna say she was one of the first to like kind of take me under her wing. Wow. And really? she would introduce me to everybody. Yeah. And I was like, oh, she's like my big sister. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember you guys did like a collab video too, right? Yeah. Was that in downtown or here in my house uh, when we lived in Tarzana? No, yeah, it was in Tarzana. Oh, got yeah. it. Yeah, I remember that. That's crazy. That's yeah, yeah. crazy. I've, I've, we've known each other for a long time. Yeah. That's was why it? I was very like, sorry. No, That's I was, why I was very happy when she was like, hey, I'm going to be in town this, this, <laughs> this day. Make yeah. it happen. I'll, I'll make it happen. <laughs> That's crazy. So most of your content when you started was all makeup content? Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha. How did you how did you get into that like world of it? Did you just yeah, kind of like, learn on your own? Like, obviously, that? Yeah, obviously... You probably loved makeup and yeah. beauty. Mm, I got into makeup because I was in drill team. So, and um, we performed like in the middle of football games and we had to do our makeup. So then from there, I learned how to do makeup. And since I was depressed, my only outlet was makeup. Wow. And from there, I would just post like um, a reverse ombre cut crease, which was like, <laughs> why do i know what that is <laughs> well like I because would just, you're dating <laughs> one of the top hero. booty heroes yeah. right, in the industry so like That's i why. would just do like very oh, yeah. colorful like just like things that would grasp people's attention like yeah. i did like a look based off of gucci Mane's lemonade song oh really That's just, so like, just, like, That's like, i would go watch a movie and then recreate a look that i saw in a movie and i was just super active on twitter and then from there i just everything was based off of makeup and then i also had a I had a second channel. It was like a couple's channel at the time. For real? I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Yeah, I used to have Oh my God, I did know that. You <laughs> did have a long term relationship before, right? Yeah, I, mo I had moved here with my high school sweetheart. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah. I do remember that. That was a while ago. That was a long time ago. Wow. Yeah. And that channel did well, right? Yeah, it was doing well. I was uploading twice on my main channel and then the couple's channel. We were doing like Vlogmas every other day. So I was like super consistent. Wow, that's, and, that's like, a lot. Yeah, but I loved what I did. Yeah. Like, it, I didn't see it as a job. I just saw yeah. it as like a fun hobby. But were you always like this? Like you seem like very like outspoken, well-spoken, bubbly and have a great personality. Is, this, yeah. is that always like in mm -hmm. you? I love doing presentations in front of like um, my class for like work and stuff. I'm very good in front of the camera. I'm very comfortable and um how was it the first time you actually filmed something and uploaded it on youtube were you nervous and or then were you very watch confident back. I and how many times did you edit that video and go back and forth with it i was shitting bricks on yeah that's scary <laughs> because like yeah i don't know i mean like i was still in high school so i was like scared of what people were gonna say yeah like it's such a small like a cliff where i'm from i'm like oh my god people are gonna think in like, texas i could not imagine yeah. uploading a youtube video in high school you're like so brave that's crazy yeah. that's crazy <clears throat> but i just really did i was like Fuck it, like yeah. I have one life, so like might as well just exactly. do what the fuck I want. Exactly, know, but like, and the, most people are afraid to do it yeah. and yeah. don't do it, and then mm -hmm. never get to see what they could do with their life. But it's always the same story of the people who actually made it. It's always the same story that they were like, "Fuck it, fuck it." Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's that fucking mindset. Um, time mark this hashtag. Fuck it. <laughs> um, that's awesome. That's what so cool. part of Texas are you from again? I'm from Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Dallas. Dallas. Okay, okay. Dirty, Dallas. Dirty Dallas. Did you live in LA for a little bit? I lived in LA. I moved here as soon as I had graduated high school up until I was 22. Okay. So like 18 to 22. And now you're you back moved. in Texas. Yeah. And then I moved back to Texas. Once the pandemic hit, I was like, obviously spending it with my family. And I'm like, I'm like, do I really? I was like, I can do work from home. And then when the pandemic hit, my parents um, invest a lot into properties and houses and stuff. And they were like, you know, you should be spending that money instead of letting it yeah. sit in your bank yeah. account. So, yeah, I bought a couple houses and then I finally decided to fully stay there. And then I finally bought my home. That I That's amazing. Right yeah. That's so cool. So you see yourself staying there for like a while? For a while, yeah. I was telling Sebas um, that I came, the last time that I came here was like a week and a half ago to go look at places. And I was like, am I really going to be living in a small apartment paying 5000 a month when I could be in my mansion in Texas? <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I fly mansion. here all the time. Mansion, it's mansion. huge. Yeah, not a house, mansion. <laughs> I like to, you know, make myself, you know, feel more. That's good. Are you the oldest in your family? I am the oldest of my siblings, and I am the only child. But I have, obviously. Sister. Wait, hold on. You are the oldest, but you're I can the relate. Only child. I get you. Yeah, <laughs> Same yeah. situation with me. Oh, I yeah. get it now. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So I'm an only child, but I have three half sisters and one half brother and four step brothers. And you're the oldest of all of them. Well, I'm the oldest from my half siblings, and then my step. I'm the only daughter and Got the middle it. one. Got so it. I'm the princess. On yeah. The are you close to them? 
I'm close to all of them, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. That's yeah. dope. Um, I had another question. Um, you, we were talking about like uh, social media platforms, how you got big on Twitter and stuff like that. Well, so not crazy. big on Twitter, but like, you know, that kind of like set it off. What platforms are you like more focused on this year? Like, is that something that you think about like on a yearly basis, on a monthly basis? Like, what do you feel like is working out for you the best at the moment for Daisy Marquez? I'm going to be honest. That was such a good question. <clears throat> it huh? was a great Bro, question. That was brilliant. That was well delivered and everything. I'm so I proud feel of like you. I'm a podcaster interviewer. You're uh, you're on one right now, dude. Mm -hmm. Clutch. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Daisy. Really good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. I took the last two years to... Uh, I was very depressed when I left. So I took those years to really focus and heal my inner self. So I kind of took a step back from social media. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't really focusing on like a big... I like on one specific platform to focus on. I was just kind of like posting on whatever. But this year, this year, I am back on my YouTube and my TikTok game mm. because yeah. I feel like I I only uploaded a couple of times on YouTube when I at some point was posting like twice a week and everything. And that's my passion. Everybody always tells me like we miss you on YouTube. And I'm yeah. like, dude, I miss myself on YouTube. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, the creative process and everything. Yeah, that comes I, with I have I this it. feeling right now. Yeah. yeah, And I've had this feeling. Yeah. Give it to us, dude. What is it? That YouTube is gonna make a dummy Ma comeback. It is, bro. It really I think it's because of shorts. Shorts is really gonna it, set that off. Do you guys off. agree with me? I agree it's, with I you, agree. dude. Not only is it shorts, but just like As a I whole. feel like everybody kind of took a step back. Yeah, yeah. And now the everyone's like, I'm ready because I feel like YouTube is daddy. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. It really is. Right? Like if King you make Kings, it on YouTube, that you is way anywhere. bigger. Yeah. Because honestly, if you really think about it, anybody can make it on TikTok. Anything can go yeah. viral. But on yeah. YouTube, to get over a million subscribers or to actually create a connection yeah. around the world mm -hmm. with people on YouTube, it's like a way bigger trophy, yeah. I would say, than TikTok. And like no disrespect or yeah, yeah, discrediting yeah. anybody from TikTok, but it is very true. Yeah, you can really diversify way more if you have a bigger uh, YouTube audience, a presence. You can mm -hmm. really like take your audience to TikTok, Twitter, all that stuff. They tend to follow you more. Mm -hmm. Versus if you just have a big following on TikTok, you'll notice that like these massive TikTokers don't have like huge presence in other other, other platforms, yes. which is so interesting. Yes. You oh see God. people with very millions, true. and then you click their Instagram true. and they're like under 100K, and you're yeah. like, whoa. Oh or less. Yeah, or yeah, less. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I did realize that. So it's interesting. Like, there's some, sometimes these people where I see on TikTok and they have millions of, of uh, followers or whatnot, and I'm like, oh, I want to invite them to, to, to uh, La LP. Platica. Uh -huh. And then uh, I'm like, oh shit, their Instagram's, um, you know, on there. And I'm like, I'm going to hit them up. And then I go to their Instagram. 10k and it's i'm like crazy oh they'll for sure see this message <laughs> you know but it's true like yeah. it's 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 different like i like she just said like if you go if you make it on youtube you really like yeah punch the, punch yeah. the door i think it has to do with like the longer form content like people really get yeah. to know you on such a deeper level mm -hmm. than just such quick like bits you know what i mean yeah. um so yeah I yeah should. um i, I feel like for us even for us like uh, obviously we post on youtube I feel like TikTok is a good, a really good tool, though. Hundred percent. Uh huh. To boost. It's yeah, a sure. really good boost. I mean, if you make it on TikTok just by yourself, I mean, that's kudos to you still, right? Like two thumbs up for you as well. But I feel like if you doing it on TikTok and you are doing it on YouTube, and then you know, like, and Instagram is still an amazing tool. But I feel like still Instagram is very like dominant still, as it in like is. as in like sponsorships. Um, needing to be on it you yeah. know what i mean like being very focused on, on it kind of yeah. like a home base yeah it is but having youtube as in like it's like it's like i'm gonna put it this way uh instagram is like going to school you do it every day yeah youtube is like your homework you have to do it and then tiktok is like your friend that helps you cheat <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm so if you. you do all of that shit, you'll graduate high school. Hopefully. <laughs> I was thinking that like YouTube is like daddy and Instagram's like mommy. Because, yeah. you know, it's like it's hard to grow on Instagram regardless because of the way the engagement and the algorithm is now. Mm -hmm. But like if you are successful on both Instagram and YouTube, it's like, damn, yeah. you like really made it. And then TikTok is just like another the spoiled platform only that can child. Like, yeah, literally. Because that gets all the attention, yeah, 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 you know? Yeah. yeah. That is true. But yours, is but yours is great too, dude. No, yours is great, dude. Yours is excellent. <laughs> so duck me, huh? <laughs> duck me. I, I tell people though, like if they are new to social media, I think TikTok is a great platform to start on. For sure. Yeah, For just sure. to kind of get like your feet wet and understand yeah. like social media sure. and stuff like that. And, it's and super also being elevates discovered. you. Yeah. 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 And you can do anything. I feel like TikTok is just so organic. Like you can oh. literally go on and just post it. And I feel like sometimes 
coming from Instagram and YouTube, you kind of want to make a story. You kind of want to have a plot. You kind of want to have like this whole thing and edit it all nicely. But yeah. TikTok's more not polished. like that. Yeah, it's more polished. Yeah, yeah. TikTok yeah. is literally like, what's up? You can literally put like, what's up, guys? End it and you'll get just the same just amount use of sound. Just yeah. like use the popular yeah, sound. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I would overthink TikTok because I guess coming from like YouTube yeah. Yeah. onto TikTok, I'd be like, oh, I have to perfect it. I have to yeah. do this. And it would perform like shit. And then I would do like something super random. And then, Effortless. And I'm just like, why did that go viral? But yeah, yeah, TikTok is definitely more Gen Z friendly. Like yeah. Gen Z just doesn't care and they'll upload and post. And I feel like I feel like YouTube is more millennial most. I kinda like, agree. I kinda yeah. agree. So you're pretty much like on all platforms. Are you uploading yeah. different type of content mm -hmm. on each platform? Yeah. I was also I kind of stopped on Snapchat, but people don't realize how big Snapchat was because yeah. I had a little Snapchat show with them and then on Snapchat I got to two hundred subscribe I mean to two hundred to two million subscribers on Snapchat. And snap? On snap. Yeah, bro, Snap mm -hmm. is popping. Do you still post on Snap? I stopped for a while until I recently realized you can make money on there. Damn. How so? Just sponsorships? With subscribers. Oh, with subs? Oh, subscribers. Subs pay? Yeah. They have Hell that now? Yeah. Yes, they do. And Dang. I know they roll out ads. Like, they have a For You page now. Yeah. So you can see ads and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I know people can make money like that and as well. For example, like, Snapchat can, like, if they see one of y'all's YouTube videos perform very well, you can sell it to Snapchat and they'll promote it on Snapchat and they'll put ads so you'll get paid and, what? like, drive more. So there's a lot going on. You guys are like, we, need to be on, we need to be on Snapchat, yeah, my boy. You do, you have, do you have the Snapchat app on your phone? Right do you have it on your phone, though, deadass? Yeah, I got it on my phone. I don't. You don't? What? No. You don't have you Snapchat? Snapchat? I'm, older, never I'm older than you guys. Okay. Uh, Let me slow down a little more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way older than you guys. No, I'm just kidding. I just, I just... <laughs> You know what it was? I got a new phone. Yeah. It used to have Snapchat, and then it. I just never downloaded because I don't use it at yeah. all. Yeah, yeah, I don't really use it as much anymore. But like now that I'm aware of, how, you know, that you can actually grow your audience and make some commission off of it, I was like, "Hey, Snapchat." Yeah, yeah. yeah What's yeah. your favorite platform? Like for yourself, that like you enjoy using, like for personal use. Definitely TikTok. Yeah, me yeah. Too. I for entertainment, like dude, I get stuck on it. Yeah, I know it's pretty bad. When did you start TikTok? During COVID. Okay, so during COVID, that was two years ago, right? Yeah, and I was yeah, posting yeah. so consistently, and so, then so you started it, but you were already known, right? Obviously yeah. on your Instagram and Daisy YouTube. Daisy Marquez, of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hello, Flower Fam, <laughs> hello. Um, but were you kind of like iffy about it? Like, should I do it? Because at that was. time, people were like, that time, "Don't do it. They're gonna delete people the app." People kind of look down on it. Yeah, they're <laughs> gonna delete the app. Yeah. Like, it's not worth it. Blah blah. Yeah. But you did. At mm -hmm. one point, were you ever like, "Fuck," like? duck should i get like subscribe uh, I'm, I'm gonna get like followers like did it happen quick no or was, was it a just, slow process it was slow because i was just doing it for fun so i wasn't taking it serious Got at it. all and then i really was getting views and i'm like oh crap like i really maybe should focus on this but then i was like no let me focus on instagram and youtube and then once i like didn't post for like two weeks it, my my views went down and i was like crap i should have actually taken it like very very serious mm, because yeah I feel like the prime time that you really, really could have like was COVID. during COVID. During COVID, hundred percent. Everybody was just at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why but, couldn't we do this earlier, dude? I feel like we're doing okay. Yeah, yeah. we're okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm chilling too. So I haven't checked, but do you mind? Well, you probably don't because everybody can see it. Um, how many um, followers do you have on TikTok right now? I wanted to ask that too. I think I'm like a. 400k wow oh okay wow that is that's not a lot honestly compared um, to like instagram or youtube or yeah Snapchat. but the thing is like you're not just a tiktoker like that's just one of your platforms that you utilize so yeah, for, yeah for it the, adds on for yeah, sure yeah. but i for sure want to also you know be in the millions on tiktok so i can have a million i did quit twitter though you did i quit twitter like two years ago like I, completely completely well, what was your last tweet do you remember i last just week? felt like twitter was such a toxic like app like every like really? I, I don't know i just I don't, I just didn't, I just found myself at some point, like, really disliking the app, and, like, I would see a lot of, like, hate, or, like, just talks about me, and I'm like, why am oh. I on an app where I feel, every time I log off the app, or, like, get off the app, I feel, like, down about myself, oh, wow. so I'm like, you know, I love you, Twitter, you help me, but, like, respectfully, I'm just, I'm gonna focus on everything Did else. Did you, like, delete your... Page? no it's still up oh, there okay. and i literally quit when i was about to reach a million on twitter and hitting a million on twitter Bro, is pretty that's hard huge. What? it's so hard i think i'm still at like 900k or something you like gotta that. like tweet just get there no. girl <laughs> and like sometimes when when i'm like a little wine drunk or something i'll be like yeah. hey guys and everybody goes ballistic off a of bear of course yeah yeah off a of bear and then i'll delete it the next day i tw i i post okay. and delete a lot you'll kind of hop in 
Get yeah, out. but then I'll delete it the next day. <laughs> wow. Uh, do you mind posting that you're on the number the one Latino podcast yeah, yeah. in the world? Too. And then you can delete it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'll do that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, real quick, what, uh, did, does bear mean anything? The reason why... Is that why an acronym? Bear or? naked? No, like, I just... When I was, like, coming up with a name with my team, they were like... Also, this came about because during COVID, I kept promoting this one specific wine. Mm -hmm. I obviously couldn't drink tequila every day. So I'm like, let me just have a little cup of wine every night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I kept promoting this one specific brand. And my team was like, you should come out with your own wine. And I was yeah. like, you guys are so right. So we were thinking of the name. <laughs> Thank you. Love that idea. That's why I hired you guys. Let's do that tomorrow. <laughs> um, so we were thinking of the name. And I'm like, honestly, when I drink wine, I feel very sexy. Very just like. Ooh, silky. Like, yeah. Like, and I was like, I, I just want to get naked when I drink wine. Got it. I don't know. Honestly, so, same. So me and my team were like, um, we were like, what about bear wine? Because we were going to say nude. And yeah, like bear like, skin. Yeah. yeah, just like bear. And so that's why we did the silhouette. That's of right. The silhouette, the silhouette is yeah. kind of like a naked really lady. Cool. Yeah. 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 Uh, we used to have them in the fridge. Then I drink them all. <laughs> nice. So he's asking for a restock. And I, okay. <laughs> and I like how they're like a perfect size too. They're tiny. Yeah, yeah. they're cool. Yeah, they're like a little coat. And you said they're 14%, 14 percent, fourteen point five. Fourteen. So literally, you know what I did one day? I bought a four loco and I filled up two glasses of wine, and my wine only filled up like maybe like three fourths, but mm -hmm. it's the same percentage of alcohol. Whoa! And it has one of them has zero grams of sugar, one of them yep. has one gram of sugar, so. I don't wake up with a hangover. I need to try these. They sound delicious. Zero grams of sugar. I did not know that. I did not know that. Stuck you guys. That's up. dope. We have a couple more questions, but we're gonna go on a quick little Already? break. Already? Yes, yeah, 26. Wow. 26. It didn't feel like that. That was fast. Yeah, yeah was I told fast. you guys to go super fast. I did not realize. Dude, this that podcast fast. is so much fun. <laughs> it is. I will say this is the best podcast I've Let's ever. go! <laughs> I, I didn't say I didn't that. say it either. I didn't say Daisy that. Daisy Marquette said it herself. I will say I'm a flower <laughs> queen. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. Yes, sir. Cue the music. <laughs> <laughs> when I edit. <laughs> It's all on you. And then back on? Yeah, we back yes, in it, baby. We back. we back in it. That was fast. Um, real quick, I know are you are you a fan of Coachella? Coachella oh dude. my god, I had the best Coachella last year. Really? The best Coachella. I've been to Coachella three or four times. Wow. Do, do you go like are you like in there in there or are you just like you know how everybody hangs out the vip area sometimes? Or are you like in the concert? In the mix. No, I'm or are you at the parties? Um, I mean Both. No, definitely not in the crowd. Well, with the people that I go with, like, this is gonna sound like. Snobby. Are you gonna flex right now? Well, You're gonna flex. flex on us. I don't want it to sound snobby. No, but no, like, no. it's Daisy Marquez. What like with our friend group, like we have a full time security, so yeah. like, he's like we're always in the front, and then we always have the security like going through the crowds and stuff. Got and we gotta change, Got and it. then we go to the parties after. Got it. Damn. Yeah. So my question was, you saw the lineup this year, right? Mm -hmm. What are you? So who are you excited to see? What are your pros and cons about Coachella? And what do you not like about Coachella? Oh, Coachella, no. dude. Coachella, dude. <laughs> you know what? Everybody's going to say this, but Bad Bunny. Yes. Oh, I yeah. had the best time ever. Were you there at the Bad no, Bunny? I no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. So, us, we had the best time. That was lit. The best concert of my entire life. So, I'm honestly very excited to see Bad Bunny. Always. Um, Would I you let him throw your phone? I wouldn't care. Oh, wait. <laughs> you know what? Same. <laughs> I I was um in the Dakiti music video. No what? way. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. I think I saw that. Did and you meet him? That? Did you get a chance to talk to him this show? No, literally. So what happened is my stylist at the time like was connected with the team and they needed girls. So I was in Puerto Rico at the time and he's like, Hey, like, do you want to be in the, his music video? I was like, oh, uh, fuck hello. yeah. <laughs> so I flew back the day they it took two days for them to shoot. And I showed up there the second day that they were shooting. The first day I think they shot the boat scene and the skis. Yeah. And so I just showed up there. They they styled us, and we were not allowed to be on our phones and stuff. Really, I wish I should have snuck in it, like a picture or something. Yeah, I would have gotten in trouble for sure. Um, and then yeah, we shot at the beach in Malibu for like, I think like twelve hours. No way! Wow. And guess what? I only came out for like two seconds. <laughs> really? That's all it is. Two seconds. And <laughs> so I was a like, quick shot. Yeah, I come out in like three different scenes. They just had us like dancing on the on the big fire. 
Was he in the scene with you guys? Yeah, and I remember at one point they were like, somebody go up to him and kiss him, but he's tall, okay? He's tall. He is tall. He's 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 tall. I think he's your height. And I was like, I'm going to look so stupid if I go up to him and I'm on my tippy toes and I try to like... Just jump on him. Yeah, no. So I remember this really tall girl just went for it and she was as tall as him and she like wow. licked his face. Wow. But Is that he, in the video? Yeah. Uh-huh. I, 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 can, I remember that. Yeah, video, yeah, 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 yes. yeah. He was super nice. Him and Jacob were nice. The whole team was nice. It was That's cool. Yeah. Jacob. That's crazy. Jay Cortez, that is, that's I mean. dope. Yeah. Is that his... Yeah, it's Jay Cortez. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah, it's yeah. J. Cole. Yeah, yeah, it was like... it was After that, I was so tired though, I just ran. 12 hours, that's insane. Yeah. Good experience? It was definitely an experience. I nice. was like, hey. So you're excited to see Bad Bunny. Oh, yeah. And what are your pros and cons of, of Coachella, Coachella, dude? <laughs> I think as a woman for Coachella, I think I'm going to start off with the cons. It's like we have to wake up an extra maybe two hours to do Gotta our hair and makeup cute. and outfit. I feel like for you guys, you guys just go to sleep as much as you can, wake up like a couple minutes before mm. and then change and then you guys are ready. Yeah. The Facts. pros is, I would say, the memories. I live for making memories. I live to listen to music, take pictures, enjoy the time, mm-hmm. and just, honestly, I love music. So, Are yeah. you going this year? Absolutely. I will say last year, I got scammed, and I was supposed to get an artist pass. Oh. And last minute, it was like a fake, so I never got what? it. And so all my friends were like, this was like two hours before Damn. the first day of Coachella. So I ended up buying a pass for 4000 a uh, VIP pass? An artist pass. Oh, you also oh, you ended up still getting an artist yeah, pass. Yeah, Hopefully but it was I had, worth it. Well, yeah, it was I heard worth that's it. like the best kind of pass you can get, right? It, it is for sure. But like all my friends got theirs months ago for like a thousand five hundred. So Damn. I got, I was, but at that point I didn't care. It's Coachella, so you needed to get in. I needed to get in. I was like, but you no go way. with your security guard. You go through the dirt because you know how there's hella dirt in the beginning. Like oh yeah, everybody you, gets everybody gets dropped w- off at the yeah the spot yeah there. But then we end up going through the back where like the trailers and stuff. Are do at. you go by yourself like with your friends, or do you go with a brand? I have gone, or with, you've done both. I went with the brand the first two years, and I was like, I can't keep doing it because Got it. you know we had to wake up the next day super early to shoot content to yeah, do this to do that. Yeah, it's like work at that yeah, point. Like, you don't get like, to enjoy it. I'm at an age where I'm just like, I just want to enjoy my time without having to think about work and just really make memories without stressing out. So. Yeah. I don't care how much they pay me. I'm not doing going there for work anymore. This is going to be my first year going. I've never been. Oh, you're going. I get invited all the time. Oh I just never, God. I've never been. And the only time. You're going to have fun. This yeah, time, because so Bad Bunny. So last year, he was here in LA twice. Uh-huh. And the, both times he was here, I couldn't see him because I was out of town. Mm-hmm. So I was like, for Coachella, I have to. Absolutely you have, to. have to. Like, I'll do anything. Yeah, are you going to go with your brother? Uh, We're actually going with the Salute team because we're potentially maybe doing a, a giveaway. Wow. Is this a Salute exclusive? This salute exclusive right here. <laughs> You're doing so. a giveaway? Maybe can I enter this two time? VIP tickets? Can I, I enter this yeah, time? Can I enter? Uh, we'll talk later. We'll talk after the pod. Oh, wow, <laughs> dude, you're gonna have so much fun. I can't wait. I, I think can't wait. my favorite thing about Coachella is just gathering all your friends together in one roof and just hanging out. Yeah, and being able to go to this concert, this festival, mm-hmm. and hanging out there. Obviously, if you're privileged enough to go to these exclusive parties, they're cool too. Yeah, you know, and you meet a lot of people, and you know, it's definitely. Uh, it's super LA. Yeah. Oh, it's very yeah, it's LA. Very yeah. LA. But everybody who's like from LA that is LA goes to Coachella and yeah. just Yeah. But gotcha. it's it's just so much fun when you have a really good core group. That, yeah. that like I could see that. I could yeah. see that. Yeah. yeah. I heard it's pretty exhausting too. It is. It could be if you gotta really plan it out. Gotcha. Yeah, perfectly. Gotcha. You can't just like wing it and you know, I mean I, I'm sure you could. Mm-hmm. But it's definitely a place where you gotta have your 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 ducks in line. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the Ubers are crazy. Crazy, bro. Yeah. I waited one time two hours and it was so freezing. Oh, during the day it's so hot. At night it drops. It's just, damn. It's freezing. This was like my first year that I went and I wasn't yeah. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I, yeah. I don't think we're gonna go this year, uh <gasps> me, Karen and our friends, because I'm getting married in June. Oh yeah, you're so right. So I I I, <gasps> I'm I don't so excited. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> and uh I, you know, we just don't really want to do much other than just focus on that. Yeah. Uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe there's like a 10, 20% chance we do go, but I don't think so. I think you are going to And go. not only that, but I'm we, have, money we have other weddings. We have bachelor parties to go to, our own bachelor parties to go to. Oh my God. Um, so, you know, it's kind of hectic. That's not really our focus, but we always have a great time. Last year, we, I was in the VIP area. I met DJ Tiesto. He was just there. No way. <gasps> just hanging out. Hanging out. I have a picture with him. Oh yeah, and I was like, a little flex, real quick. Yeah, I was just there, and I was like, "Yes, so I love you, dude. Can I take a picture with you?" 
guy's like a, he's huge bro oh, no way he's, yeah, he's tall bro yeah, he's huge. the legend tiesto i had to hanging out yeah VIP. uh one of my friends like are you sure you want to go to him I'm like i don't care I don't ducking care. <laughs> By the way, we say duck instead of yeah. We don't we don't curse around here. Oh yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> we try not to. I haven't, I haven't cussed on. No, you haven't. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. no. You're good. You're good. Yes. Yeah. I didn't say that just to let you know. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I saw him and I was like, I have to. I don't care if he even says no. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's a legend. And he didn't say no. He didn't. He took a picture with all of us. He was super cool. He's Dude, invite him on the pod. What are you doing? I should, huh? Yeah, next time. His TikTok is probably like millions and billions, and but his Instagram is probably still the like same. Like 10K. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys do for New Year's? Uh, you know what? Every New Year's for the past maybe five years, we always probably go to Cabo or do something. This year, me and Karen, we were like, let's just stay home and hang out with our family. Yeah, yeah, I love that. yeah during like midday 10 o'clock at night we were with friends and then we uh went to my parents house and we um toasted there oh nice yeah what same kind of thing for me nice yeah yeah it you? was very nice huh what did you do oh i went to vegas i just oh you went Ve- i heard <laughs> vegas is crazy new year's yeah i went there for 24 hours with this um tequila brand so oh nice okay that's cool that's dope mm-hmm. what tequila brand is it if you don't mind us asking, or Kevin is this... Hart's tequila. Is oh, what is it called again? I forgot the name of it. <laughs> I haven't tried it. It's called. Um, I know it starts with a G. Oh. I don't really remember it, but um, yeah, we went there um, and it was fun. Twenty four hours in Vegas is the best. Yeah, it was fun. Just in sure. and out. There's no more tequila. No, but you can have it. No, you. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. No, you have to go to Disneyland. You going to Disneyland? Oh yes. yeah, he's going to Disneyland. Wow, must be nice. Yeah, verbatim. Oh, I got the verbatim one. Yeah. Oh. Take a shot, girl. Oh, crap. Are you still nervous or are you good now? No, I'm not She's right. good. She's good. She's big chilling. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do it. Go breathe. Oh, that's right. Oh, no, wait through your nose. Oh, breathe through my nose and then what? And then hold it? Hold it in? Hold it until you take the shot and then once you breathe swallow out. it, you breathe out. Through my through my mouth. Yeah. Got it. <sighs> did you just wow. learn something? I did not taste anything. Genuinely did not taste anything. I you get like a little, a little bit, sting. but a little yeah. sting, but that's it. Wow. That was brilliant. Daisy, so you went you. to tequila? Yeah. So what what um what tequila distillery did you go to? Um I just went to Tequila Jalisco, um, where they have the big barrels. Have you seen the hotel? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yes, the hotel. Yeah. And um but I went uh, I went to tequila, I went to um Ojuelos, I went to Ciudad de Mexico. I went all over because I was there for like two weeks. Was, Sick. It seems I, like you travel a lot. Do you normally like travel with like brands or do you go solo? Like, or do you do both? Like it's. I honestly travel at least twice a month. I oh, no. would like to. I mean, I'm, I'm single and I have no pets. I have no responsibilities. I'm very lucky and blessed to be solo. financially, you know, stable to do that. But that's when I feel the most free. And I feel yeah. like when you're young is the best time to travel. So yeah, I of travel course. a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And as you should, yeah. I think you should stay like that well, for a I'm while. Well, I'm single, you know, because I just don't see myself traveling with another person. Really? Like, when I'm going everywhere. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Unless you find the right guy. Yeah, you got to find yeah, the perfect match. Yeah, I, I can find just... the right guy. What is the right page. guy? Yeah. Um, the right guy for me, I just honestly want someone who is respectful. Um, I will say this just came like, this is like a big thing for me now. I just cannot see myself with somebody that is not on the same level financially or mm. big, because I've dealt with in the past where like I've taken care of another You're like supporting partner. Your, your partner. Yeah. yeah. And it just like ended up brings problems, br- brings problems. Like money does make some people greedy and it just yeah. causes a lot of issues. So I'm like, I have to date someone who, you know, is like brings the same to the table yeah. or more. But who can keep up. Yeah. But I, maybe when the right guy comes, we can travel the world. There you go. I can travel the world. <laughs> and he has to be world. a citizen so we can travel outside the U.S. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a plus. That'd be a plus. <laughs> um, I actually saw this thing on TikTok, and I wanted to ask you because I thought it was very interesting, this question that yeah. they asked this person, this individual. Uh, the question was, I don't know if you probably saw it. Um, if there was a crime, you had the power to delete. Like, it would never, it would vanish, a crime. Um, what would it be, Right. But the only way that this crime would delete and vanish and it wouldn't exist anymore is that you actually have to commit it. So whether that be like murder, the R word, DUI, DUI, like anything, any crime that currently is a, a crime at the moment. Yeah, you, it can be anything. You, you can you can have the power to make it disappear. I would probably get away with murder. 
So you would remove murder from the world being a crime. Oh, Sam, I was like, 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 you're going to kill somebody? <laughs> so that means, yeah, you would have to kill somebody. Wait, 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 wait. I think I misunderstood the question. Like, I thought you were asking, like, if you could do something and get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god Whoa. i don't even know what's better that or i think that's worse who are you trying to kill girl no no no, nobody but like <laughs> uh-huh. because i'm into like forensic psychology like yeah. that's what yeah, i want yeah. to go to college for and oh, like, i'm dope. super into like crime and stuff yeah like, i don't know but i misunderstood the question yeah so if there was a crime <laughs> that you have the power for it not to exist anymore what would it be but you have to commit that crime the question is kind of tricky because it does it is. like delete it from ever existing or ever does, it, existing. Or well, does guess- it just mean like people can do it and it's no longer a crime no, no, no. it won't it oh. just doesn't exist so, because like if you say dui like yeah. i would personally say dui but then does that mean I people can just too. drive under the influence and it's, n- it's no okay basically like you'll delete that doesn't exist it doesn't exist it's like there will be no more like say if you wanted to do like murders and stuff there would never be any murders anymore in the world yeah. But she would have to murder somebody. You have to murder somebody. Oh, that's easy then. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Pig murder. <laughs> <laughs> it's, they, they, yeah, and I'll help you, Daisy. I'll help you. <laughs> Daisy. Daisy the serial killer. <laughs> so, so be murdered. That was, I have never been asked a question that intriguing before. What about you, Josh? Complex. Um, probably murder. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> like one murder to stop all murders for the end of time? That seems like a no-brainer. What? Okay, what about if I asked you that you actually have to pay the consequences? Would you still commit that crime? I you'd, mean, if it means... Oh, you do the crime, you pay the time type thing? Yeah, you would, you know? You know what? For humanity, I'll do it. I mean, I would like murder Shut like... Your ass I'll up. do it, dude. But like, I would murder like uh, like a pedophile or something, get him off the streets, and then if I have to do my there time, you go. I'll do my time. Then she does her time. Wow. What about you? Oh, what would I would do? <laughs> Choplifting. Choplifting? Choplifting. But you could get rid of a, a worse crime out Bro, there. yeah, really? Like, well, I don't want to pay the time. <laughs> <laughs> pay up, bucko. <laughs> <laughs> shoplifting? Like, you haven't oh shoplifted before? God. Have you guys ever shoplifted? I've never shoplifted before. I, yeah, me mama, mama I me actually <laughs> did shoplift at Walmart. It's a funny story, actually. Me and my friends, I was in high school and we were going to go to a party tmi but i was like you guys i just need one tampon i don't need the whole box i'm broke at the time i'm in high school i have no money and i'm like i just need one tampon my friend's like let's go into walmart and just steal one tampon we saw a box already open so my friend takes that one tampon and as we're walking out these policemen come out no way and they hold us and they put us in handcuffs they take our pictures put the tampon down and i was like sir i just needed one tampon before going to a party he's like your parents are coming up right now and I, yeah and they did um only i think my friend's parents came up oh, my mom never found out about it wow. bro, bro put yourself in a situation as a cop if i saw a cop and a young lady stole a tampon i would literally be like yo just just stop how much is the whole box and just pay for it yeah what what kind of person I just needed are you one tampon like it's not like you're stealing you know and we still went to the party and got fucked up because <laughs> we were upset that we got put in handcuffs Damn. oh they handcuffed you yeah they handcuffed over it's, a tamp so walmart before before the doors there's a little room and the the doors are like hidden so you can't see them but so if you're shoplifting and you're about to walk out of walmart they'll come out of those doors oh shit and they have a little like Bust your ass. a little chair with handcuffs so you're literally like this no yeah that's crazy so that's have you shoplifted before oh uh, no yeah oh shit oh uh, dude i'm a good boy <laughs> ever since social media you like how i'm coming up with the questions i'm a straight interviewer dude <laughs> ever since social media who has been your favorite collab since you started your social media career and why karen i, I, I literally in my head i'm like karen um, i will say karen okay karen karen and um nas you know nas any? Oh yeah, Nas. Yeah, yeah. Super nice. Her and uh, Mel. Yeah. Mel, super nice people. I met I met her when she was like 16, 7, no, 17. Oh, no way. She are was, you guys the same she, age? No, she's I think a year or two years younger than me. Wait, how old are you, Daisy? I'm 25. Oh, okay. Yeah. Quarter, quarter of century. I'm 25. It's a good age. I'm 32, fool. Uh, <laughs> 32, fool. I heard the 30s are your best years. The best. Yeah. Are you excited to go to be in your 30s or are you I feel, taking I, it easy? I will say I thought by now I would be like settled down with a family and mm. kids and like a whole family channel and everything. Yeah, I really, whole family I channel. Really, I, I really that thought. Yeah. Because like as a when you start YouTube, you really do think about yeah, that. And 100%. so um, I've been single for going on to four years now. So that's not yeah. going as planned. So <laughs> maybe like in my 30s, I'll settle down. Maybe. Maybe like 35. But you like with 
I feel like Mexican parents are just always like, when are you going to have kids? Yeah. When are you going to do this? When are you going to do that? Pressure's on. Yeah, and I'm just like, fuck. I hate, yeah. I hate that I'm the only child because I can't be like, well, my sister or something because my, my mom's the only child. Yeah. So the pressure's definitely on. How many kids do you want in a perfect world? Two, maybe. No, I would say two because the middle child is always very troubled. So I would mm -hmm. say two. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah. My brother. <laughs> um, two kids. How many do All you boys? want? All girls doesn't I really, matter. I really yeah, I'm the same way. I I want at least two, and if three happens, cool. But definitely a pair. Yeah. What about you? I want like six. I want a lot. I want, I, I swear. I want to just be like covered in kids. Covered. Covered in kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, I mean, <laughs> just kids I, everywhere. Like this is always somebody. I mean, I, me. I have thought about having. I mean, if it happens, it happens because like I love that I have so many sisters. Yeah. And we're like such a big family like my grandma had 12 kids i don't know how they used to do I'll, it like I'll, that. 12, I'll take 12. 12 that's crazy my grandma had 12 kids too yeah six boys 13. and six girls and i'm just like that's perfect i'll take it you whoever your baby mama is <laughs> is blessed because i could only have two dream collab and why karen i'm just kidding, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. dream collab um guy girl whoever it doesn't even have to be in the beauty world i would say becky becky g, becky g. oh her. oh my god i can feel like that's I so love her like yeah. I'm tomorrow. Ass like, yeah, like, yeah, I'm assuming you know her. Yeah, I know yeah. her. I know her, but like on like my channel or something like that. Yeah, like, yeah. we hang out like outside of like. Yeah, I was super like, nice girl. She is the sweetest, and her um her, was he her, her fiance? Fiance she, now. Yeah. Um. She told me she was moving. Um. They're moving to Dallas. So I was like, Oh no way! I'll have some. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. She probably feels happy about that as well. Yeah. She was like, I don't know anybody there, and I'm like, Girl, I am here. Yeah. 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 If you ever meet Becky G, sweetest yeah. person ever. She is yeah. So and her sweet. her fiance is super nice oh, too. Cool. And his name Sebastian. I, oh no way! That's your name. I think it is. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. I, I think it is. <laughs> so fucking I think it is. crazy how that yeah. worked out. Super nice guy. I remember somebody <laughs> asking me like, Who inspires you? And I was like. Becky G. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. She's very inspiring. And to be around her energy and her aura is like a blessing. Yeah. She's very, very relatable yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. I have a question. So you were in Texas, grew up in Texas mm -hmm. for the most part, right? Mm -hmm. And then you obviously established a bunch of friends over there, like a friend group. And then you moved to LA. Did you, was it hard to find like a new friend group over here or through social media where you already like connecting with people? And then obviously like transitioning back out to Texas. Like what, what's the friend situation been like? Honestly, I only had like two, three main friends in Texas. Yeah. So when it comes to my birthday, which is why I always celebrate the week before in Texas, the week of in LA and the week after I travel somewhere, all of my friends are here. Mm. So when I moved back to Texas, I was like basically thrown into like a new place. I didn't know anything about like clubs or like bars or what's popping or anything. And I only had two friends. Yeah. They don't really go out as much. So I was like, so... I definitely have more friends here oh, gotcha. than in Texas, I will say. And yeah. plus when I'm in Texas, I don't really go out as much. I don't, I don't know a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So I'm more, um, like a homebody. Yeah. In Texas, I'm more wholesome and homebody. And then here I'm just like, <laughs> I get invited to a lot of things and everything. And I'm like more out. That's what yeah. I mean. yeah. my mom hates when I come over here. Oh, she, just, she knows. Yeah. La bendición. Yeah. She's like, just don't do anything stupid. And I'm like, I like sure. Well, <laughs> well i'm still here so we're good uh before we end the potty wadi too hottie we got some speed questions uh oh for you. is that time and Ooh. more than more than half of them are like texas versus cali type shit <gasps> so, oh i already know what no we're not gonna ask no you. we're not no. gonna if you're wondering everybody back at home the answer is not gonna out. be the water burger question oh, okay. <laughs> because it's in and out i'm tired of the conversation i say in and out as well thank you thank you I thank you i say yeah. in and out yeah. and there's nothing wrong with what a burger I There's like just it. no debate. It's no. just different. Yeah. It's way different. It's different. So you can answer them quick. I'm not going to say like say one word or anything like that, but just quick because we're going to go quick with well, it. Well, the first six are Texas, Texas versus, versus California. California. Yeah. Just FY. So they'll be like which which or. And then the, the second half will just be at random. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to go first? or, or? Uh, Go ahead. Okay. Texas versus California. Who has nicer people? Texas. I could agree with that. Better Mexican food. Hospitality. Yeah. Better Mexican food, Josh said. Texas. What? What? You don't mean that, Daisy. I Take honestly, it back right no, now. No, Texas. They have Tex-Mex. They don't have real Mexican food. No, we do have real Mexican says food. Who? And my parents own a Mexican restaurant. There okay. you go. Hey, next time go to Texas, uh, Daisy will meet us up. She'll take us to the thing. Yeah, pr think, prove yeah, your yeah. ass okay, wrong. Cool, cool, cool. Better place to party. See? California. Hotter dudes. 
California. What's wrong with the guys from Texas, man? They're not from California. You know, I haven't found myself. There's a, a lot of cuz, I think. <laughs> she wants a cowboy. No, get my cuz. No, get my cuz. Get my, no, get my cuz. <laughs> Shout out to all my cuz out there. Um, is it my turn? Yes. Yeah. Texas versus California. Cost of living. Texas. We don't have um, in state taxes. Okay? State tax. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. That's how we can get matches. Right, Daisy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you had a hunch, where do you think the love of your life is? Texas or California? I feel like California. Cali. Mm. All the Cali dudes. Just because of my lifestyle. Got it. Yeah, it just yeah. makes more sense. So those were the Texas versus California ones. Now, are you a, would you rather do a natural glam or a full beat? A full beat? <laughs> You know what that is, a full beat? Oh, you don't know what that is? I mean, I, I kind of figured it out, but Honestly, it's hilarious. I'm a full beat girly. Full, full beat girly. Uh, well, this was kind of established <laughs> earlier, but Coca-Cola or Coca-Cola Zero? How do you like your sodas? With a Z at the end or no Z at the end? No Z if I were to drink soda. That's the wrong answer. No. I so you like the sugar? <laughs> I mean, if I'm going to cheat on my diet, I might as well just go all the way. I can respect that. <laughs> I can respect it that. It just doesn't, it tastes like chemicals. What does? Man, you tripping, Daisy. Man, you tripping. Man, you tripping, Daisy. have like some sugar in it, so it just tastes better. With, like, got it, got it. Yeah. Okay, okay. I got you. Uh, Delta Airlines or American <laughs> Airlines? Great American question. American Airlines. I am a gold member. American. Oh. Wow, I'm Delta. I like Delta, too. Really? Why? Yeah. Cascade miles. Well, I also but yeah, have, that's what she was saying. I'm a gold member. She's a gold member. Oh. On American Airlines. And you know why? Because American Airlines goes a lot to Texas. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. yeah. I, I get the best life. And the last but not least. La Platica Podcast or La Platica Podcast, my boy? La Platica Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, whoa. <well. laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand that one. Someone else so wrote that one. I was just kind of reading it. <laughs> what kind of question is that, bro? <laughs> just, I just wanted to make sure that one of the questions was going to be an answer that I want. <laughs> which was? Which was La Platica. <laughs> can you hit on my boy real quick, Daisy? Yeah, I think before we end the podcast, wanted. can you hit a, like a nasty... Like, like a sick one, I don't Daisy. know if you know. I, I know sometimes you watch uh, La Platica, but we say my boy a lot. And sometimes when we hit a nasty my boy, we literally go like... <sighs> We were wondering if you have the capability, the power, the capacity to say. Ma -ma. Ma -ma. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a beautiful whisper. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! All right, ma -ma. Thank you so much for being here, Thank Daisy. So Seriously, such a pleasure, uh, Daisy. It was so much fun. Yeah. I think next time maybe you come, we can have Karen to it, and we can just like do a whole yes. ass party. Oh, no. wouldn't that Crazy. be dope? That'd be super dope. Be dope. Let's yeah. do that. Let's make that happen. Just know that you always have a place here at La Platica. Thank you so much. Yes, Shout out to all the. Is it Flower Fam? Flower flowers. Fam. Yes. My, oh, your name is the Daisy. Flowers. Oh, the flowers. Gotcha. Shout out to the flowers out there. Thank you so much for supporting Daisy. And if you came here to watch La Platica, thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel because we them boys. I guess so. Period. I guess uh, so. Turn on notifications yes. and subscribe to the channel. Yeah. Social thank media so platforms, much. all that stuff. Daisy, once again, thank you. And you guys have a wonderful day. And thanks for tuning in to Estás La... Estás escuchando La Platica. Los amamos, los queremos. Mondays don't suck. Enjoy the rest of your week. I Adios. know more. Love y'all. Thanks, Daisy. Wow, that was great. <laughs>